Burglary and J. 2C colon 18 dash 2. What is burglary? The easiest way to understand this is that a common law of burglary was defined as the breaking and entering into the dwelling house of another at night with intent to permanently deprive the owner of goods stored therein. Modern legislatures, including New Jersey legislature, have essentially kept that theme but have expanded the statute to include things like research facilities, uh, uh, museums, uh, schools, because real expensive equipment is stored in these premises and uh, you know they've been the target of thieves for a long time. Um, okay, so you've got a situation where you've got to break and enter into a property that you know you have no business being in. There has to be an intent to steal uh, goods stored on that premises. Um, generally speaking, this is a third degree offense. So what are the penalties? Uh, it's monetary fine up to fifteen thousand uh, dollars, possible jail minimum three years, maximum five years, presumptive four. Then you argue the mitigating and aggravating circumstances, and of course a serious criminal record or felony record. In New Jersey, we call them crimes; we don't call them felonies. But the whole rest of the world calls them felonies. Um, okay, so there is a way that it can be elevated to a second degree offense, which is really serious, and that is if the actor. Uh, is in possession of weapons uh, like a bomb or guns or you know something of that nature, or if the actor purposely, knowingly, or recklessly inflicts or attempts to inflict bodily injury on anybody involved in the incident, those two extra factors will elevate it to a second degree offense, which means the monetary fine goes way up. It's in excess of seventy-five thousand dollars. Uh, jail sentence goes way up, minimum of five years, maximum ten years, presumptive seven, and of course, a serious criminal record. Now, how do I see this come up in my practice a lot? Well, the two ways. Uh, the first way is you've got, uh, shockingly, high school youngsters who work together. Uh, I've had a few cases where I represented a defendant who uh, drove a vehicle, uh, and there were three other youngsters from his uh, community college uh, classes, and they would case out neighborhoods and break in houses and steal things like stereos and handguns and jewelry and marijuana, actually, stored marijuana. Uh, I was able to get that individual no jail uh, and a downgrade. Um, although I could not get him pretrial intervention because they don't like giving pretrial intervention for this particular crime. This is a crime they don't like to give um, a break to people on. Uh, the second way this comes up is you've got the real hardcore addicts, people who, you know, are, are hooked on things like oxycodone and heroin, and they're going to steal. Uh, this is, if you think about it, uh, you know, a less intrusive or risky way to steal, maybe not less intrusive, but less risky than, uh, you know, robbing a bank or committing armed robbery, which I will address in a subsequent video, because um, armed robbery is something along the lines of burglary plus force with a gun or a weapon. And, of course, there the penalties are greater and people can, could, could get killed and get shot. Um, so anyway, this that's the situation. Uh Okay, so if you or anybody you know has been charged with this offense of burglary, it's very, very serious. Uh, you need professional help. Um, here, um, here's my information below. If you've been charged or anybody you know, like a son or a daughter has been charged with burglary or another family member, uh, give me a call. I'll be happy to evaluate your case for free, and uh, you can retain me to handle it. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.